Okay, so, after uh, bumping the cartridge as I went to unplug my controller, I froze the game. And, you know, stopped recording. And now we're back. And obviously, I wasn't over here. Uh, but I saw Chuck Quizmo, and because, like, I was waiting for Elgato to process a video before I started recording again. Um, which, the last video, and I was like, I, I want to have the first, you know, Chuck Quizmo actually on camera, on, re on record, so. Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. You can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then. Yeah, 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 yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Let's try a quiz, yes. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Gumbario's younger sister? Gumbaria. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered one question so far. Good luck. Next time. Oh well, so long. Farewell. Till we we'll meet again. Um, but yeah, I did a bit of a bit of off-screen grinding, uh, so I have some more experience points. And I was gonna keep doing that, but like I said, I ran to Chuck Quizmo and I was like, I'd, I'd like to record this, so. But we're just gonna head right back to where I was. Um, we're gonna beat these guys just because it won't take long, but I'm gonna try and avoid the most, most of the fights, you know? Hopefully we don't have the same problems. Hopefully. Oh, uh, this is concerning because that's the second time in a rather short amount of time that my, the controller is acted up, so it's like... I hope the controller isn't like this the whole time, you know? But yeah, like, I was just unplugging my controller to re-plug it in, and I just slightly tapped the cartridge, and that happened, so... That's... that really sucks, but... Luckily, um, even though I forgot to save in Toe Town, I still wasn't that far back, so... I didn't lose a whole lot of progress, I mean, I just had to re-grab, like, one item, and that was kind of it. Almost there. I'm not gonna bother to, you know, be talking to anyone else because I'm still gonna use that old footage. I'll just either cut a bit out or, you know, mer kind of merge uh, a bit of two videos together, you know? See, that dash is so nice though. As I was saying though, this is easily my favorite track. It's really so summer. Um in the game. It's just so like peaceful and nice and relaxing to listen to. I bench with only one like one seating side. Hmm, I wonder where this other chest is. We didn't actually see it earlier though. I know where it is though. Ah, 
My, my. Hello there, Mario. This part is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. So I believe it's up here where we can actually make use of our star pieces. I'm the famous Mer Merlo of Shruti Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap you some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? So yeah, as you can see, um, I don't really have any, I don't have enough for really anything I got before. Uh, did you change your mind? I see. He's Merlo. He's about the same age as... <laughs> really? <laughs> Damn. I want to play with him when we finish our adventure. I guess he trades star pieces for badges. Melevi, who's downstairs, is his sister. He's so lucky. Damn, I, I mean, I guess he's a little small, but I didn't think it would be Gumbario's age. Gumbario's age, but then again, I, you know, they never give you an exact number, so. She's a gorgeous lady named Merlovy. I can't believe I'm in the same room with her. If she foresees events and uses her magic power to find what you're looking for. She's very accurate. I think I'm in love. She's incredible. Pinch me, will you, Mario? No. Ah, my man. I foresee your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlavi. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. The Twinkle Star, he'll show you all that is hidden. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? Yes. No. My, my. Are you sure? Yes! No! I don't... I already know where I'm going, so it's like I don't want to waste coins on something I, I already know, you know where I need to go. But yeah, it's, it's nice that they put that in the game to help you find star pieces, and uh, if you're stuck, you can use her to hopefully find out where you need to be going. So the, Because, yeah, like, you know, this I won't really say this, this game holds your hand, so... Imagine if Mario just got bonked by one of the stars and just fell unconscious. That would be fun. Is there anything around here? He's always looking at you. Stop wasting my time, god damn it, Mario. He's an old star spirit. His name is Elisar. He reminds me of my grandpa. He's a revered person who lives in Star Haven. Way up above, way up beyond the sky. Huh, a revered star, I mean. I wonder why he's here. He should be in Star Haven. Nowadays he looks so dim. I can, I can see him run right through him. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home. Star Haven, a place high but beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star heaven. Hang on. Hang on. He said the other day. But we already know it's been a few days since we were knocked out. Like, that we were knocked out for a few days, so... I think, I think they messed up there. Then again, I guess it's not a big deal, but you know. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes, like... For instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. 
Yes, good job, Bowser. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star rod so we could grant his own so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. This is my favorite star spirit. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the star rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we summon star spirits or reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. As it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope. And we will. Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really about worried about her. Save and continue. Sniffle. Sniffle, sniffle. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Qua ha ha ha! My dear Princess Peach. How are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario. This time, my dear, we're so high above the sky even now, right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Nee hee hee hee! Imagine what's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oops. How do oh how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you you know want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. Take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. Bleh -he -he -he. <sighs> Please, if only somebody could help me. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. You're so cute. But you're... you're a star kid, aren't you? How do you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. 
Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of... Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry, please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then can you take me away from here? Everyone in the castle has been captured and I, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to, to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. Far more splendid, sir. Maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. It's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink. Do you think you can find Mario? I need to give him this to him. Oh, yeah. I think it's this thing that lets you do the, um... I don't know if it's this... The uh, action commands, we'll have to see. This is Lucky Star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that. I'm fine, he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. No, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? You know, see, that scene right there reminds me of um, a scene from the second Shrek movie. Bonk. Out! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. <laughs> I love how happy Twink is. Like, just, oh my goodness. I love seeing him smile. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> how do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, yes, here it is. It's not like you have a bag. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. Yep. It lets me use action commands. That's what I've been waiting for. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May, may I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Now, I know what the action command is, but I'm going to go through this anyway because I just... In case there's anything I did forget about it, I just want to remember. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on. Hang on. You, behind Mario. Would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Gumbario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Gumbario, let's begin. Oh my god, I have to beat Gumbario. <laughs> First, Mario. Choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Yep, yep. I like it jumps ahead. <laughs> Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Right now, just before stomping the enemy, per se, at exactly this moment. When you see nice appear, it means you've successfully used the action command. When you when you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, you tried to attack Mario. Okay, here comes Mario. Right now. Press A just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully used action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the left control move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. I'm doing that. Flashes as soon as your power reaches its maximum. Alright, you successfully use action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you master how to use it properly. Yes. The action command will solve yours, so practice it. 
done with this training session, choose the end training command. So yeah, let's just do a little bit of practice. Ouch, I messed up. That was also a little bit too late. Oh, too early, okay. I like how, um... Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. Fine. Okay, let's... Ouch. Well done, Mario. You successfully used action command. You have great timing. Okay, and I want to get the jump one down at least once, you know. Well then, Mario, you successfully used anything you agreed to me. Was I early? Man, that jump one is hard. Thankfully, we have unlimited health. I'm so bad at this. Jesus Christ, man. Because it, it seems like the timing on it is just brutal. I mean, the hammer one's easy enough, but... felt like it was good timing on my part. God damn it. Like... I just want to get a successful jump and then a successful block, you know? I think I may have hit A. Timing is brutal. Holy shit. Here you are. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What? A foolish star kid? I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. El Tel Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. <laughs> Here I come. God, I'm trying. I really am. to do some off-screen practice with that because I'm not doing good with it at all. Well then, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. I think I forgot. Yeah. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you that the message from Prince's speech. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. 
I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Uh, how many star points have we got? 89. Oh, Mario! Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house. Oh, God. Oh, no. What is going on? He lives in the house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at the, his house. I was, supposed to, I was just supposed to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Marlon to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. You know, I wish everything could go smoothly, but clearly I'm not that lucky. Even though, like, I've, I've, I've done everything right, I believe I have everything set up properly, but of course I just... Something happens. Luckily it wasn't permanent, I didn't have to stop the recording for it. I just got a message on Discord. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go level up real quick. Should only be a few fights, and I think after I level up, um, I'm probably gonna stop the recording and you know, call it a session. Did I ever hit the street? But, I, um, yeah, after I level up, I'm gonna end the recording, and I'm gonna do a bit of off-camera grinding and practicing with the extra commands, because I don't know that freaking, it seems, the timing on the jumping stuff made it, seems brutal. Maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm recording and there's some, like, delay in there, I don't know, it's hard to say, but... I don't I feel like I'm hitting it at the right time. That's really annoying, you know? Like, when you feel like you're doing it properly, but the game's telling you, nope, you're doing it either too late or too early. There we go. I just need to find, like, am I doing it too early or too late, you know? <laughs> One star point away. I did not mean to do that. Good job, self. I mean, the hammer is obviously easy enough, but yeah, the jumping one is a little more difficult. We're gonna go HP. Actually, I just got full health out of when I did that. But, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this recording. Thank you for watching, and ciao for now.